we're about to go art walking. Gallery at 11 Broad Street is one of the city's most progressive art emporiums. Owner Maggie Kruger has an exceptional eye for works by top American painters. This summer, Brookshire paid her a visit. What do you mean by a painting lineage? Well, one of the things we're doing at the gallery is mapping all the lineages of our painters. The only way that you can learn to paint like the, the paintings that are done in the gallery is in a master to apprentice methodology. When an apprentice does a masterpiece, then they can exhibit all the skill and virtuosity of the master and then go on to learn more forward. So what happens is you see this great cascading of knowledge that occurs. So when we map a lineage, what we do is we take Anthony Ackrell and we will look at who he studied under, which is uh, uh, Daniel Graves. Daniel Graves runs the Florence Academy, and he studied under a gentleman named Richard Black, who studied under Ives Gamble, who studied under William Paxton, who studied under Jerome, who studied under Delaroche, Gros, then it goes up to David, all the way back to Louis de Blanche, who was the first official court-appointed painter, and he was appointed to the fourth king, Louis. And so what is interesting is, as that tremendous skill set cascades forward as it keeps accumulating ability. And so that's why when you come in the gallery, you're bowled over by the quality of the works because it's all competence-based. So the, the painting skills keep adding and adding and adding. And right now in realism, it's the most exciting time to be alive because you have this great ability between Facebook, the internet for these painters to connect, go study under each other, and continue to build that skill set in a most accelerated way. And so it, it, we're mapping everybody's kind of uh, master DNA. And what that does is that shows us, like red hair and freckles and a dimple, where they connect the dots back in history and how that translates now into their painting. And what does that mean to me as a collector? It means, well, a couple of things. One is I sell, for instance, to oftentimes to generations. So I sell to the grandparents, the parents, and the children of the parents, the grandchildren. And it, a very funny thing happens. In painting preference, we will find that within families, they'll prefer not the same painter, but painters that have been trained under the same master or follow a simi similar lineage. So if you understand the lineage of a painter you like, you can go seek other painters to collect that will have a similar reson resonance with you because it's all based in the training. It's wonderful. It is, it's very cool, it's amazing. And they'll do that unconsciously, but once you really understand that lineage business, you can begin to seek out for instance, people that trained under Frank Mason, or people that uh, come out of uh, Delaroche, or what, whatever the, the thread is that really moves you as a collector. And this is where I actually have my mother's shoes. Yes. <laughs> Some artists like sketching fruit in a bowl. Other artists enjoy sketching beautiful models in provocative attire. The latter kind of artist goes to Dr. Sketchy's anti-art school. Dr. Sketchy's is not your mother's drawing class, as it is definitely more unique and quite a bit more titillating than your run-of-the-mill figure drawing class. 
The Charleston branch of Dr. Sketchy's was opened by Olivia Poole in 2011 and features models that one might classify as more alternative than your typical figure models, including roller derby girls, pinup models, and burlesque performers. On July 17th, the latest group of Sketchers gathered at the Speakeasy, an impossibly cool Prohibition-era watering hole located above Club Light on East Bay Street in downtown Charleston. Participants in Dr. Sketchy's not only soaked in the retro-chic atmosphere of the upscale establishment, imbibed unique libations and selected from an extensive beer list, but also had the opportunity to hone their drawing techniques by sketching lovely models in exotic clothing and in various states of undress. Risque rewards were provided to the artists who produced the best sketch. Model Queen April kept the audience wrapped with her artless demeanor and witty banter, while a DJ kept heart rates up by providing upbeat musical accompaniment. Take a run for it. Okay. Yep. Somebody's got to do it. Established in 1942, Anne's is located in the heart of Charleston's historic shopping district at 312 King Street. Well known for both classic and contemporary lines, it is the personalized customer care provided by their outstanding staff that has built Anne's reputation as the area's premier women's clothier. Proudly carrying the finest traditional and the hottest fashion-forward designers, it has been a key shopping destination for generations. And today you'll find that this downtown locale has collections for the holiday party season which are second to none. Fabulous gowns and vivacious cocktail dresses are just examples of the many offerings the smart set has come to expect. For the finest in fall and winter selections, for everyday and business apparel, jewelry and accessories of all sorts, as well as luscious warm outerwear straight from the studios of the best New York and European designers. Make sure that you shop downtown at Ann's. And gentlemen, the perfect present is always a gift certificate from this prestigious address. So stop by 312 King and see the store, or to learn more, take a visit with a quick click at www.annsdowntown.com. The store is situated below Calhoun on the east side of King, and Ann's customers are always invited to park at no charge in a lot to the rear of the store between George and Society Streets. Just ask for your parking voucher when you come in or before you leave. So for certain style and the foremost in fashion, for holiday or any day, no matter the season, there's always a reason to stop and shop at Ann's. Attention women, here's a store that's all about you because it's all about the shoe. The Shoe Ferry, the hottest location for stunning shoes, awaits you on your way to Sullivan's Island in Mount Pleasant, featuring fabulous footwear, shoes for work, for play, for every day, and with a terrific selection of bags, jewelry, and the things that women wish for. Shop today at the Shoe Ferry in the Gateway to the Beach Center by the CVS at Ben Sawyer and Rifle Range Road. The Shoe Ferry. 